Okay, so this whole Road to Cape Epic thing is supposed to be about us training and getting in form and everything to do the Cape Epic again. Uh, no one seems to be too interested in how we're training or anything like that though. Everyone wants to know about the gear. It's all gear related. It's all about the gear and it's two Masters riders who didn't go so well in the Cape Epic last year. We're throwing some money at the problem. Maybe I'm, I'm going to get my Wahoo because I really like my Wahoo. Oh yeah, need that. So, Albie, why don't you start about telling us about these awesome new bikes we just got from Giant. Giant Anthem 29er Cross Country XC bike. We've got Shimano XTR and this amazing new Fox Live suspension, which is an amazing bit of kit for, for someone like us. We don't deserve this, but we will happily ride it. This is this is pretty cool. Like there's there's the controller down here. Um, there's a battery, and you can set up the stiffness and all that of the suspension. But there's also sensors right here and here, down there. And what that does is those are are reading the trail like a thousand times a second, feeding it back to the controller. And the controller in there is an accelerometer. It's got like a three-axis system where it knows if you're climbing, you're descending, uh, and uh, traversing, and it's opening up the valves in real time. I think it takes like 0.3 milliseconds or something ridiculous like that. So you can feel it, you can hear it, you can, you can, you know it's working. At first, when I, when we got on it, I was, I was reaching for that button yeah. and just sort of wanting to sort of lock it out yourself, but it's very intuitive, like it works, like very, very smart how, how it all works. So. It reminds me of electronic shifting kind of like, it's one of those things that you don't know how good it is until you go back to the, the old bikes, which are still good and there was a lot of control there, but I don't know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It is awesome, yeah, yeah. Got new pro saddles, um, these uh, Tura, Turex off-roads, um, they're good. There's uh, this sort of like stickiness um, part, part of the saddle to sort of keep your butt in place. Got Max's tires, we were on Kenda's before, Max's what came on here, so I'm loving They're them. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the good guys seem to be using them. So, Nino's we, on them, so. we need to be using them. A big, big cassette on the back there, 51. Uh, Gotta need that for uh, some of those steep, steep climbs up in, in um, Cape Epic for sure. We call it the armadillo, because yeah. the armadillo is the animal with the most teeth on this planet. Apparently, so it's yeah. said. Yeah, it's yeah. the armadillo. What else we got for gear? We got a, we got a few things. The bike is the main thing, but the there's lots of little things. things that we use all the time. Alby is extremely sensitive. He's like Goldilocks <laughs> sleeping on the bed. <laughs> uh, what's this, Alby? This is a tire pressure gauge. So you pump your tires up with a normal floor pump or whatever way you get the air in, and then this will just tell you um, what pressure you got in there. And you can sort of you can release it at the same time, so if you put too much in, you can release a little bit out and get that perfect sort of pressure, you know. We're learning that about mountain bike. Everything is all about tire pressure. It keeps us awake at night. Albi is a human tire pressure gauge. He knows with half a PSI if something's wrong or not. 19, yeah. 19? Yeah. Well, uh, this, I just got this, speaking of while we're on the topic of pressure, I just got this killer Silka travel pump that we'll bring with us. So this is like, just fits in a bag, this beautiful valve. There's a tire pressure gauge in here that hooks up to your phone of all things. So you can see the pressure on your phone, pumping more, it up. More gadgets. It's awesome. It is cool. Yeah. And this, we carry this on our bike. Albie, what's this all about? So this is a strap where it attaches your spare tube. I put the CO2 on there as well and some tire levers and a plastic bag around the tube because it gets quite gritty and, and dirty. So the sort of trying to keep the tube as clean as possible really. And where we went wrong in the Pioneer, I had my tube in there from the Cape Epic and it was a bit of a dud. From almost a year ago. Yeah. So yeah. it kind of rotted away. So this one's new, it's good to go. Hopefully we don't have to use it. What else do we got? Ah, Albie, you know all about these. This is, uh, a, they call them tire plugs or? This one's called the Dyna plug. Dyna plug. Or Dyna racer. And this 
you literally, when you get a puncture, you find out where that puncture is, stab it into your tire, counterintuitively, pull it out. Wow. Sorry, not like that. This little thing will stay in the tire and plugs it. It's, um, that's, yeah. that's tubeless for you these days. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, we haven't had to use it yet. But we've got many flats, so. <laughs> Just, yeah, we've got to learn how to use that. Always need, uh, along with that silica pump, I got this new silica uh, a multi tool. Um, little chain brake on here as well. Um, this is, has everything you need, different little um, Allen key sizes, um, uh, there's the, the little star nut things, and uh, yeah, it's just got it pretty basic, but it has everything you need. You rebuild the whole bike with that almost. You could, you could. Even, even the eight mil for the pedals. Oh. What else do we have here? Shoes. Uh, the, the Shimano S Fires mountain bike shoes are super, super stiff, but like they're easy to walk in. Um, they're not uncomfortable. The other shoes I came from, which are phenomenal cross country shoe, um, but they're just pretty stiff for the Cape Epic and, and, and Pioneer where there's sometimes some walking. A bit of walking. A bit of walking. Not for Nino and all those good guys, but for us, there's a bit of walking. Helmet. Laser. The... Uh, what model is this one? I don't know, but it's um, kind of get your Vander, Vander pole on with that helmet. Yeah, That's yeah. what he uses, so it's got to be good. Little adjuster at the top instead of at the back like some of them, which I kind of I like. And mips in there. Saves your noggin. Got to wear one. Yep. Sunglasses can go up on top here quite easily. Um, easy to find, so... Yeah. The other thing I can't live without is just my computer. This Wahoo Roam. Um, just goes on like that. This sort of allows me to know just just everything while you're out there. It gives you something to look at. And distance is, is crucial. Elevation, meters climb, gives you a good idea on how the stage is going and how far to go. And, and the other thing is the, the just a heart rate monitor. Um, that tells me how much effort I put in at the end. We don't have power cranks or anything, so this is the next best thing. Knowing our uh, you know, the effort we put in and then my coach being able to see that. And, um, you know, not that you can really do anything with that, but it just does measure, you know, for your training for the next race. Yep. I just got one, so I'm gonna be surprised how fast my... You, you wear it right here. Yes, <laughs> laser sweatband, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've got one of these as well, so I won't be asking you how far to go. <laughs> So that's our setup. That's how we're going to solve the problem of us being slow out on the course. This is going to make us fast. Yeah. And uh, the next time you see us, we'll be in South Africa.